Today, I'm going to show you how to build the sling ring from Doctor Strange. Today, we're going to be using a program called Tinkercad. If you're new to Tinkercad, we actually have a video that we've put on the channel geared towards beginners. So there will be a link in the description down below. You should check that out. This is Tinkercad. This is a web browser based software. It's free to use and it lets you do 3D modeling. We're going to use it to design Doctor Strange's sling ring. I want you to have full creative control when you're doing this. If you want to design the ring differently than me, go ahead and do it. That's the whole point of this video. This is our work plane. This is where we're going to do our building. I can adjust how I see it so I can tilt it up, I can spin it around, I can get any perspective that I want with this work plane. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the square, and I'm also going to grab the ring. What you can do here with the ring is you can change the degree you want it to be at. I'm just going to click 90 degrees, it's the easier way to do it. And you can also grab it and drag it up and down through the plane. And I'm going to type 90 degrees again to make it flat. Next we're going to grab the square, and I'm going to turn it into a rectangle. You can change the height, width, whatever you want with it. But what we're going to do here is make the rectangle the same width as the ring. Now we're going to cut out a shape for the ring. We're going to grab another square, click the hole button, and then group the square and the ring together. Then we're going to copy and paste it, click the new ring, move it 180 degrees, and get it on the same level as the other pieces. Next, we're going to grab another square, click the hole button, and group the rectangle and our new square together. We're going to go ahead and grab the rounded roof and change the degrees to what we want it to be. Then we're going to drag it onto the top of the rectangle. And on the bottom right, you can change how many millimeters you want to move an item. So we're going to make it fit perfectly here on the rectangle and do the exact same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to add some decorations on the side of the rectangle using a square and rounded roof. And to help see the difference, I changed the color to yellow and group these two pieces together. Now we're going to copy and paste it onto all four sides of the rectangle. So now for the hard part, we're going to take another rounded roof and make it line up exactly with the rings we already have. As you can see, some of the rings are still showing, so we'll need to take another rectangle and cut out the top of the rings. Now for finishing touches, we're going to add a smaller rounded roof right in the middle to match the movie prop. So what you're going to do is just go ahead and go over to the export button, and click the STL file since you're printing with a 3D printer. Then you're going to want to open up your slicer. We have the Prusa slicer. And once you're in the Prusa Slicer, you're going to want to just drag and drop the file you just downloaded. Now that we have our object in our slicer, you can see we can make it grow a little bit bigger, we can make it grow smaller, as well as rotating it on its side. On the right hand side of the screen, we have our size in millimeters. You can also select inches. This is very important if you want to get the right measurements. If you want to learn more about 3D printing, you should check out the other videos on our channel. Once you've got the right measurements for the sling ring, you just want to click slice now and click export G code and put the G code onto a thumb drive and plug that thumb drive into your printer. Now that we have our ring printed, let's go ahead and head to the Bahamas. That one might be a little too small. I printed this for Hulk fingers. This should be enough. There we go. So we just built the sling ring and that's really cool, but there's a real life application to this. Let's say you want to build an airplane part out of titanium. Sometimes titanium is expensive, it's hard to find, and it's hard to work with sometimes. So what you can do is print it out of 3D printed plastic. That way, 
you can make sure it fits, it does what you want it to do, and if it doesn't, you can try again until it does. That's what we call rapid prototyping. There's a lot of jobs that use rapid prototyping, but one that comes to mind is engineering design tech. They work with expensive materials quite frequently, and they have to get it right the first time. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed what you saw, you should check out other videos on our channel. We do stuff like this all the time. And if you wanna learn what we're doing when we're not making videos, you should check us out at futuremakerlab.com to learn more. This is Bailey from Future Maker Lab. See you next time.